Hi, this is The Business Guy, and today we're gonna to talk about how to protect your real estate from lawsuits. First, we'll talk about protecting your personal residence, and second, we'll talk about protecting your income property, such as rentals and rehabs. Then we'll go into some detail about land trusts and other strategies. Then I'm gonna show you some illustrations and how to hold title and how to protect that asset from being taken away when somebody decides to sue you. I've been in the asset protection business since 1991. That's over 30 years. I believe now we have over 102,000 clients in our database. We've helped people save literally hundreds of millions of dollars from being taken away on lawsuits. And we're going to talk about real estate asset protection right now. And with all this free information, if you could help me out by clicking the like button so YouTube promotes this video, I'd really appreciate it. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Because on this channel, I try to get to the point, give you the meat of what you're looking for. So subscribe and you'll get notified. Okay, we'll start off by talking about how to protect the home where you live from lawsuits. In very few states, you have some good homestead protection. In most states, however, in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, you have no protection at all. So in most states, when somebody sues you, they can just rip the rug right out from underneath you and leave you out in the cold. So what do you do? Now, asset protection of your personal residence starts with privacy of ownership. The first layer is setting up a land trust. We'll go into more detail about that later, but the bottom line is the land trust slash trustee holds the title so your name does not appear in the public records. Alternatively, for your personal residence, we can use a living trust. And keep in mind, the living trust does not need to have your name on it. So most living trusts would be named like the John Smith and Sally Smith Living Trust, but you can call it the Gunderson Street Trust. You can call it the Big Bird Holdings Trust. So you can call it whatever you want. And for the living trust or land trust, you don't have to be the trustee. You can have a trustee as a Wyoming LLC, and that Wyoming LLC can have nominee managers so your name doesn't show up in the public records at all. So the only people who know that you live there are people who you tell. So what we do with your personal residence, if you live in a state that doesn't protect sufficient equity in your home is we set up an LLC and this can be set up in the state of Wyoming or better yet for more privacy we set it up in the Caribbean island of Nevis that's N E V I S and we record an equity line of credit against your property. So what that does is this pulls out the equity out of your house. Anybody looking in the public records sees that you have little to no equity in the property. Then if needed, we can get a third party lender to purchase this mortgage from your LLC. And then we put the proceeds into an offshore asset protection trust that nobody can touch. And that way you have the equity truly stripped by a true third party lender who isn't associated with you. And you have the proceeds proceeds from that mortgage in an offshore asset protection trust in a you can't touch it account. That way when the judge sees it, it's a true third party lender that has the lien on your property. If you want that lien to go away, simply tell the trustee and the trustee can work on your behalf to remove the lien from the property. Okay, so what do we do with investment property, income property? If this is an income property, what we do is we put each piece of income property into a separate land trust. Why? Because that gives you flexibility and privacy of ownership. So somebody looks in the public records and they want to sue you, some contingency fee lawyer scratching his head thinking, do I want to sue you? And they look in the public records and they see nothing, but you own nothing. So the first layer of protection is privacy of ownership. The second layer of protection is actual protection and we make the beneficiary of that land trust a limited liability company. So the LLC itself doesn't provide asset protection or lawsuit protection. The beneficiary of that trust is vulnerable. So that's why we make the beneficiary of the trust a limited liability company that absorbs the liability from you. So we put the property into a land trust. We have an assignment of beneficial interest in this land trust that assigns it to the LLC. That way you have your asset protection when somebody sues you personally, and then you have your lawsuit protection. So somebody slips and falls on this property and they sue you for more than your insurance insurance covers, they can't take the property away from you. They cannot take the LLC away from you because there are provisions in the law to prevent them from doing that. In most states, you need two or more members of this LLC. In Wyoming, Nevada, Delaware, and some other states, you only need one member to have that charging order protection when you're sued personally, so they can't take the company or the asset inside. So to repeat, the LLC provides inside protection if somebody sues having to do with the property. It provides asset protection when somebody sues you personally, they can't take the LLC or anything inside of the LLC if everything is set up properly. Now, it's just not any old LLC that can do this. It has to be set up properly. It has to be filed properly. You need to follow the proper formalities of not commingling personal and business assets. You need to have a properly structured operating agreement. So it's not any old LLC. Call us. We can help you with that. We have attorneys on staff who are experts in asset protection. If you want help, we can set up the LLCs. We set up land trusts. We've set up thousands of them. We all 
also set up living trusts so you have your estate planning taken care of. And just like what we showed with your personal residence, we set up an LLC, preferably in the Caribbean island of Nevis, and that records an equity stripping lien to strip the equity out of the property. And again, initially, this is an equity line of credit, like a home equity line of credit. So there's no money changing hands. But when the bad thing happens and they start sniffing around asking you about the mortgage and who owns the company that holds this mortgage, at that point, we can get a third party lender that can purchase the mortgage and put the proceeds in a you can't touch it account in your offshore asset protection trust. So that way we have the equity stripped out and if somebody sues you on the property, there are provisions in place to protect you from losing your home, your car, your bank account, and everything you work so hard for. So as promised, let's go into a little detail about the land trust. The land trust is a document that helps you own each property privately. So what we do is we put each piece of property into a separate land trust, like we showed before, and then we make the beneficiary of the land trust an LLC. Now we don't make the beneficiary beneficiary of the land trust and LLC for your personal residence because your personal residence is in a different tax category and it would typically not be beneficial to have the LLC associated in the chain of ownership of your personal residence. You might lose things like the ability to write off your interest. You might lose things like the ability to take the first chunk of profit from the sale of your personal residence and not pay taxes on it. So for your personal residence, we just stick it into a land trust for privacy of ownership. And then we take an LLC over here, again, preferably in Nevis, and we record equity stripping lines of credit against each property. And then if needed, we have a third party lender who will automatically purchase the liens from the LLC and put the proceeds of those liens into an international asset protection trust and a you can't touch it account. Now, this isn't money you can run away and spend unless you truly refinance the property with a bank or sell the property. At that point, you can touch the cash. The reason is it would be too risky for the lender to have you run off of the money when you have an international lender and you have property in the US or Australia, Canada, UK, wherever you live. Okay, so why is this important? In Illinois, the Court of Appeals issued a judgment against a landlord because they failed to stop the verbal harassment by other tenants. In other words, other tenants were verbally harassing this one tenant and they sued the landlord because of it. In California, a federal court found the landlord vulnerable for reassigning the tenant's parking spot. The Center for American Progress says that 90% of landlords have needed legal representation. A Kansas federal court issued a $167,000 judgment against a real estate broker whose email was hacked and the hacker emailed wiring instructions to the hacker's own bank account in Malibu. 15 people are suing a homeowner of a rental property for more than their insurance coverage when the debt collapsed. And you can't rely on insurance. The first thing the insurance company will do is look for a reason why they don't have to pay. And for many of these liabilities, insurance won't cover them at all. Now keep in mind, don't expect your attorney to jump up and down with excitement and tell you to set up an asset protection plan. He'll be too worried about what that judge will think of him on the next 25 cases he brings before that judge. So you need to take action and talk to somebody who specializes in asset protection. We have attorneys on our staff who can do just that. In the over three decades that I've been in this business, I've trained our staff attorneys on asset protection, and it's not something they teach in law school. We're the largest asset protection company in the country with tremendously experienced attorneys and consultants on staff, so we're here to help you if you're serious and you need it. So that's what we do to protect real estate from lawsuits, and that's why it's so important. Now, this video doesn't go over every yeah, but, or what if, and don't consider this legal advice. It's just to provide general information. And if you like, you can give us a call and speak to our on-staff attorneys or consultants at one 195 41050 or visit us at assetprotectionplanners.com. We have a whole trained staff who can help you protect your assets and get answers to your questions that you might have, and we'll be glad to help you. See you next time. This is the business guy.